Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get gas money for any of the major blockchains out there. So I'm talking Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Avalanche, Phantom, Phantom, Harmony, Polygon, all of these major ones. I'm going to teach you how to get gas money if it's your first time sending money over there. But before we do that, as always, I'd like to ask you one second of your time just to scroll down and like the video, please. It helps out the channel, it helps me out a lot. And if you like the content and you don't want to miss the next one, also subscribe to the channel. But let's get to our main focus. So by now, you might have heard of many different bridges. There's a ton of bridges for you to bridge your tokens from one network to the other. Of course, there's bridges that are only for one network to the other one, like from Ethereum to Boba, like from Binance Smart Chain to Phenom, or bridges like that, Ethereum to AVEX, stuff that is only connecting two parts or two networks. But now we have multi-chain bridges or bridges that connect many chains at once. So you can be sending your tokens from Avalanche to Binance to Ethereum to Moonriver to Polygon, whatever, it doesn't matter. So these bridges are becoming very, very popular and I use them myself. I'm going to show you two of the bridges that I use that have a lot of different chains where you can send money and receive money from. And then I'm going to show you why I use those only when I already have some cash, some tokens available to the chain I'm sending it to. But now let's take a look at what are these two main bridges that I use. So we have right here C bridge, it's C bridge dot seller dot network. So C the letter C C bridge dot seller dot network. This one right here was one of the first bridges that I found. And I've been using it for quite some times now, I'd say four months. So it's been four months that I've been using it. And uh, it never had I never had any issues with it. Okay, gas fees are a bit expensive. But again, when we're talking about sending from one, one network to the other one, of course, you're going to expect some higher gas fees. So we're not talking about 30 cents, 20 cents, like a transactions in a AVAX or in Polygon. But we are looking at something around four to five dollars for you to send your money from one blockchain to the other. So I've been using Seabridge, Seabridge for quite some time now. And uh, I recently seen that they actually lowered the available networks that they had for you to choose from and to. So if we take a look right now, we have Ethereum mainnet, Optimism, BSC, Polygon, Phantom, Arbitrum and Avalanche. So I'm pretty sure they had a couple more, I think two or three more. But right now we only have these available. And you can send USDT, USDC or wrapped ETH. The only thing that happened to me once is that my money took a couple of hours to get through to get approved. But I think it was because the network was very busy at the time. So they had many people using it at the same time. So the speeds were reduced quite a lot. Other than that, I've never had a problem with not being able to approve the contract to transfer. Never. Everything worked fine. So this is bridge number one. And now I'm going to show you bridge number two, bridge number two being synapse protocol. So synapse protocol.com. Once you get right here, you will see this bridge again, it looks very similar to uh, C bridge by the looks the UI, the UI is very similar. But then right here, we have different choices. We have Ethereum, Optimism, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, Phantom, Boba, that we didn't have before. And this is actually new. Then we have Moon River, Arbitrum, Avalanche and Harmony. And again, right here, you have a very different selection of tokens that you can send. We even have Olympus DAO right here. We have ETH. We have their own token Synapse and the stable coins. So you can actually send from DAI and receive in USDT, which I think is very, very convenient. If by some reason you want to do that, uh, you can receive that. You can also send all these other tokens 
and if it's a stable coin you can change it to any other stable coin like you can see NUSD to USDC and again this bridge also very fast gas fees are again um, a little bit higher than you would expect for a normal transactions in the same blockchain so you'd be expecting around five dollars gas fees for this bridge as well but what is the main issues with these two bridges of course you can send the token that you want of course you can send stablecoin from one bridge to the other this is perfect but if it's the first time that you're bridging you're going to have a big problem with gas fee money so let's say we're sending from ethereum to avalanche i send my stablecoin and i receive usdc on my avalanche wallet then i would have that money then that money would be locked up because i would only have usdc but everything on avalanche is paid in AVAX. So if I don't have any AVAX in my wallet and it is my first time bridging, that money will be stuck on Avalanche because I wouldn't have AVAX to send it back and I wouldn't have AVAX to convert that money into AVAX or into any other tokens. So this is where Elk Finance comes in. And this is why I love Elk Finance. It is a little bit different. You have a couple more steps to do it but it gives you gas fee money already. So you already have enough gas fee money for you to make your first transaction and buy more gas fee money or um, stake whatever you need to do because it already gives you some gas fee money. So let me show you Elk Finance. So right here we are on Elk Finance. Let me change the camera. And you can see from right here, I am in the Avalanche ecosystem and I have zero elk right now. But let's say I had some elk and I wanted to send this elk to any of these chains. You can see right here, we have a ton of chains right here. We have Binance, Kronos, Elastos, Phantom, Harmony, Who, Huobi Echo, which is Heco, KCC, Moon River, Oki X, Polygon, Telos and Dai. So we have a lot to choose from. So let's say you wanted to send it to Phantom. So I wanted to send some elk. Of course, you can only bridge elk. For some people, they do not enjoy this step that they, that they need to change their tokens to elk and then to bridge the elk because they think the slippage is going to be too much. But I guarantee you, it's very fast, it's very easy and probably will be cheaper for you, especially considering that you're able to receive the gas token on the other side so again we buy some elk we go right here on swap we swap our stablecoin whatever to elk then we go right here we choose how much elk we want to send to phantom and then we select this button right here swap elk one for gas so what is it going to do let's say you're sending two elk it's going to take one of this elk so the minimum amount you need is one elk so we're sending two elk and it's going to take one of this elk and convert it, swap it to Phantom, which is the gas token on the Phantom network. So after I approve the contract and swap it, what is going to happen is once I go to the MetaMask and switch it to Phantom, I will see that I will have some Phantom, which was equivalent to one elk and I will have one elk and worry not if you only see the phantom but you don't see the elk the only thing you have to do you have to click right here and you will add your elk to your metamask so very easy for you to add elk the contract on the other network on metamask so this is the reason why i think elk finance is way better if it's the first time that you're bridging again let me make it clear if it's the first time that you're bridging because then you have enough gas tokens for you to make your first transactions after that you can take part of the part of the capital that you bridged and buy and swap it for more gas tokens but with this method you should have enough gas fees enough for the first transactions after that, you can use Synapse or SeaBridge. You can even send this straight from your exchange directly to the network that you want to if your exchange does so. Like Binance, uh, Binance for me sometimes doesn't allow me to send it to Avalanche or to Phantom because sometimes there's uh, a lot of traffic going on. 
so they suspend the bridging so i have to do manual bridging like this but for the first bridging that you do i always recommend elk.finance but okay if you don't have for example the bridge that you want to right here for example we don't have one chain we have harmony here but let's say we didn't have harmony well these smaller networks they do have their own bridges and the majority of the time when you do the transactions they'll they're gonna airdrop you a small amount of tokens for you to start your transactions so in that case even if we cannot use elk.finance for the majority of these smaller blockchains they're going to give you a free airdrop of a small amount of tokens so you can do the first transactions which i know for a fact it is the case on one chain and it is the case on harmony if you use the harmony bridge that they have you will receive a small amount a small amount of one with the tokens that you bridge so very short video but i know it will help a lot of us in the beginning when i was starting into DeFi, this whole bridging thing was very complicated i was skeptical i was scared i was gonna lose my money but if you do the right thing if you know how that works from where you have to bridge it to where make sure the token is available on the other end uh, you won't have any problems the majority of the time the only thing that will scare you is when it takes a long time for you to get your money but if you see on the tx id that it went through it, it is in progress you don't have to worry about it because it's just a matter of blockchain confirmation so as long as many blocks will be confirming the transactions it might take a while but then you will receive that money on the other wallet so this is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and wait the word for today is going to be elk so if you comment down below elk i know you got all the way to the end of the video and you're part of the end of the video gang so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll catch you in the next video peace